What's up guys, the Trickster Authenticity here bringing you the entrance store part free. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, basically I just recorded this like long ago and then suddenly I realized I didn't have any mic audio on it. So you know what? Let's do this and um, let's start all, I'm gonna start all over again from the beginning. Because you know what? Life just hates me. Let's do it! Storm has been hanging around for days. Thanks for the lift, Mr. White. You've saved me from quite a walk. No problem, son. We'll be passing back down in about an hour if you need to ride back to town. Maybe later then. Goodbye. Father notices his pistol is missing from his gun cabinet. How long until he realizes that his oldest child has gone on a crazy mission to rescue his younger sibling? Fortune be kind. Let me find you safe, B. Let me arrive in time to save my younger half. Walls the color of bleach bone, sallow faces haunting the windows. You're a braver person than I to have even applied for a posting in this wretched establishment. Isn't this little backwater actually in the pay of this institution? What exactly is going on at the Mother of Mercy? Well, shit. Okay, so... <clears throat> to point this out, this was the sanatorium that our main character went through in... Uh, I think uh, our main character... Yeah, yeah, our main character. Went through in the Entered Story Part 2. Now, we're in control of a new guy, and this new guy is uh, some sort of, like, hero guy, I guess, so... Huh? What? No. Of course. Of course. So, I, so yeah, basically when I recorded this, of course, I did everything, like, you know, it's locked and shit. But, you know what? Fuck it. You're never gonna see that recording anyway, because I don't have the audio for it, so... You know what? Let's, uh, let's get into the Mother Mer Mercy Sanatorium and see what shit's happening. Ah, the caller came back. Good day, madam. My name is Mr. Desmond Gorn. He's not seeing anyone today, young man. Doctor's orders. I beg your pardon, but how did you know I was asking about B? Why, why there's a strong family resemblance. You two could be twins. Then you must agree that as B's relation, I have every right to see her. Impossible. She's a Madam. Under. I'm prepared to wait all day if I must. In the meantime, I insist on speaking with a doctor. I told Madam, you. I will not be budged. Please be seated in the waiting room, sir. for getting her letters to me. Have you seen her recently? The security around here is tighter than the lies in the home of this room. But the last time I saw her, she was in front. The highest part of the room had children. But there's a side of the dentist in the rest of the grounds. I cannot thank you enough. It was a good end of the room, Marlon. Not my intent. But I have to get back to my mother by the next. God's luck. So, uh, the color came back and, oh, hey, there's the doctor. But first, yeah, wasn't that fucking suspicious? S uh, suspicious, uh, gentle, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Because, like, he knew they were coming and, they're, and then the way she said, the way her reason of, like, uh, strong family resemblance was, like, strong family resemblance. 
Linz. Yeah, I think that would be pretty sus around here, don't you think? Now to talk to the doctor because we know that um in part two, every single one of these fucking staff is goddamn sus as shit. Hello, you must be B's brother. It's good of you to come. Many families are reluctant to acknowledge the regrettable afflictions. My sister. How is she, Doctor? May I speak with her? You may be reassured that B's not physically ill. Simply mentally exhausted. Quite delicate nerves. I prescribe... Doctor, will I be permitted to see my sister at some point? Of course. We only want to wait until B is in the healthiest state of mind to see visitors. She's sleeping off her medication at the moment. Perhaps if you came back when she wakens after a good night's rest. I will return tomorrow morning then. If I have your word, I can speak with her then. I'll take you to her room myself. Very well. Good day then, Doctor. Madam. What do they take me for? No doubt eager to see me return to town and end by the clutches of the corrupt policemen. Now let's find that gate. <laughs> yep, pretty much. That guy was a total sus. Oh god, we just... Yeah. Mm, yeah. Healthy estate. Yay. And by that, we mean totally mind-controlled so that we can sacrifice her to the great god Cthulhu. Yeah, we're in, buddy. Let's go. Alright, so, I think we could go either through that door, which is the most obvious method of entry. So obvious that, like, it's fucking bullshit. So instead, we're gonna go through in my way. Fucking... Oh, right. No, never mind. We've got, we've got the... Uh, yeah. This crate will help if I need to step up. Which you do. Hip. Yeah. Open the window. Like, seriously, who the fuck opens the window? Look. Like, who the fuck leaves the window open when the other windows are closed? Like, what? Okay, uh... uh well, technically, they're villain staff. They don't need to fucking reassess everything if they're actually doing their job, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna question it. Okay, now I'm in. Sigmund's notes that the B was on the top floor in the Dillet Wing. Keys to the wards might be found in the supervisor's or Mr. Rhodes' office, or if I'm lucky, on the ward itself. Okay. <laughs> so, this is where the game's main true element begins. And by main true element, stealth and, well, yeah, stealth. This is survival horror, so, you know, Cthulhu. Careful now, take the wrong door and the whole plan is up to Swanee. Yep, we're not gonna go that way. It's filled with staff. So if you see here that the, uh, that the Mother of Mercy uh, map, we're at the first floor. Specifically, here. So, uh, we will get to that. Uh, we will be using the maps to navigate around here uh, in this part of the map because, uh, well, something's happened and we need to finish it quick. Let's go in. Darn, thank the old man himself. Oh, shit. Must be real proud they recorded this speech. Damn. Maybe I can hide someplace until these two move out. Okay, I think 
I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Okay, we're in the supervisor's office and the keys are naturally locked. Fucking amazing. But first, this there will be an interesting detail um, about this place, and that is these things. These are record files, and I'll basically cut to every um, record file here. But basically, we're gonna show every record file here. So yeah, let's pick this up, and here we go. Those bastards. I'm coming, B. Hold on. Well, shit. I think I just got the right correct file, but whatever. We'll just cut ahead. We'll just uh, cut ahead to showing the other um, files, and then we can get on with our journey. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go. Let's try to go this way. This way seems safe. Or we could just... Okay. Thank you, Mickey. Don, that was close. Almost bumped into the old goat. Yep, that is Creep Town. This is Creep Town. If I ever saw Creep Town go creep, hmm. so yeah, this is where the uh, registered the one who greeted us over there. So if we go there over there, we will get spotted and everyone will be fucking after our asses. So let's go this way. Why? Okay, apparently the freaking elevator doesn't work, so I guess we'll bust through the war no. I guess we'll bust through the wards? Possibly, maybe? No, no. No, no, no. That is a stupid idea. Luckily, there's a better idea. Go through the stairs. Um, oh. Alright, we may have the key of B's ward. Don't mind me, I'm just visiting. There it is. This must be the museum that B wrote about. I wonder what other skeletons are hidden here. Yeah, what other skeletons? And by that, I mean what other Lovecraftian abominations they may have hid here. So... You may think it's a cheerful song, but come on, you'd be obviously wrong about that. It is definitely an indu uh, a insane inducing case song. So, there it is. Dr. Rhodes' room. Let's see... Let's see what we have here. And you may discover a dead body! Yay! So. So, basically I'm going to show all these things, kind of, maybe, sort of, that there are probably, uh, like, journals around here. So, yeah, there's a journal right there, so, hmm. 
I guess that does us some good. Good. Also, fucking source filmmaker shit. I mean, what the fuck? No, some fucking uh, source engine shit. Oh well. Well, this might be a weapon, so let's grab it! Indeed I do. And she says that you have a new role to play. And that's the blame for the sacrifice of four when I'm unwanted to this attack. What the hell? Oh jeez. No. Oh shit. That's not good. Okay, again, I'm just I'm just showing these books around, just so that you can see, uh, just so that you can see, um, you know, like for the video. So hey, just so you know, let's. Just... The key to B's ward. I just know it. Hmm. Are these robes gems? and I'll be okay. okay Got some work to finish up here. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Just smoking the mess. Those are the voices and cheap parlor tricks. What else are these creeps going to try and do to scare me off? Ha 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 ha, yeah, you may believe that, oh. Yeah, I am not gonna listen to your shit, buddy, fuck you. Okay, so, on the previous video, it took me a long time to find Bees Ward. But, if you look at the map, there, there is a, there is a clue. Clue. We could, you... There is a clue. A clue that we can use to get to the stairwell. Now, we can just go ahead. Now, the plan here is to actually use the elevator. Yeah. Probably. Unless if I'm wrong again. Okay, in which case. No. Oh shit! Oh no! Fuck you! Fuck you! You... Yep, 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 yep. The guy just went up and be like, Yep, you are a friend. Get the fuck out, out of our house. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. We're hella out. We're hella out. Okay. Uh, no, we need somewhere. Fuck! Out! No, no, no. Not that way. Not that way. Fuck! No, 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 Nope, 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 nopals. Much of the nopals. Nopals, nopals. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ooh! Okay, swerve! Swerve around! Close the door. Close the door. Fuck. Okay, okay. That guy won't mind, because he's not in our range. Alright. We're good. We're good. Now, the top floor to the left, to the left wing, is actually restricted. We have to go someplace else in order to uh, get a room. And to do that, we need to go to the administration offices, which is locked, of course. Of course. You think this is going to be easy, right? No, it, it never is easy. It's never easy with these kinds of games. So, of course, uh, to get to the Mother Mercy Sanatorium, we have to go through this place, go for this door, and for the stairwell. Now, you know what? Now, you know something's up. Basically, you already know that this, that we just been there. And you know that we just ran away from the guy who was bashing in our heads. So let's go ahead and this, and actually face him this time. Because we know the stairwell's over there, so we just gotta run past him like a goddamn idiot. Okay. Juke! Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck! Triple fuck! Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Jordan. Open the door. Stairwell. Get up. Okay. Let's go. All right. Pull it up. Top floor. B is here somewhere. So, I didn't take that much damage the first time, mostly because I... First time, mostly because I actually did try to juke his ass. Uh, actually, no, I took more damage because I tried to juke his ass to fail. But, yeah. Creepy imagery. Lovecraft specialty. Oh. It shall be so. Praise the mother. Yeah, no, fuck that, no. Okay, there it is. The Derlet Wing. Don't turn around, lady. Keep playing with the radio. Uh, there we go, finally. Oh. Oh boy. This is. Not good. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, right. Oh shit, okay. Swerve and dodge. Just like you always do. Yeah, I'm not gonna stand around to listen to your bullshit. I'm gonna go. Oh no, Sigmund. Uh, I'm okay. I came to let Bean know you were here, and the hospital room is faster than the margin in the feet away. I heard one of them say something about the chapel. Strange stuff goes on. It's on the second floor. I'm afraid I'm not up for another fight. I need time to... That's okay, Sigma. I think it's time to show these thugs that they are not going to push us around anymore. Yep. By that, I mean shooting them in the face. Okay. Let's go. Come on, motherfucker. Come. Yeah, what have you become other than these guys are crazy, man? So let's shoot him in the face. Yep. Shit, man. Yes, I get it. It it get it. Yeah, we get it. You we killed the person. Come on, man. Let's let's go before these guys. Ha, no, you don't. Wow. What a fucking idiot. Not that we have a gun to defend ourselves this time. <laughs> Fuck off. God. And second of all, well, well, the chapel of concentration is uh, con contemplation is this way so let's open it and what do you know it looks like a normal chapel but come on man there there is such a there is a difference between this chapel and other chapels yeah that's uh, that sign in the book that does not say jesus christ at all yep that says i we need to get the fuck either out of this place or deeper into this place so and we know in this game we have to go deeper yeah this is not good imagery at all well we're here, and in that place lies some dank shit. So let's find a way to defend ourselves. And thus we got our key crowbar, which is a sort of cane-like object. Either way, we're not gonna totally like this. So, I guess we have to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from me, click that subscribe button, leave a like down below. I love to hear hear opinions on how I can improve this channel and this series as a whole. And I'll see you guys in the next video, but till then, keep on shocking.